what you can see, this is a female flower. You can tell because you can see this ovary down here, which will end up turning into the squash. She has a clothespin on her right now. I put this on yesterday. The pollinator, I brought two male flowers and you can tell they're male because they don't have an ovary here that will turn into a fruit. I also pinned these yesterday. To actually do the pollination, I'm gonna rip off about half of the female flower's petals, just so that we can get in there. This is where we're gonna wanna pollinate. To get the male flower in there, I'm actually gonna rip off all the petals. Just literally just stick that in there and rub that pollen all over the female flower. So I have two flowers here, and I collected these from a different plant so that the same plant isn't pollinating itself. So we'll just make sure we're really getting a great pollination here. We're gonna have to taper shut. So I just have some masking tape here that I'll put around the flower. This will just really ensure that the only pollen in there is the pollen that we want. Squeeze it shut here at the top. Feeling around for gaps. I'm actually gonna put some flagging tape on this squash. So I'm gonna tie this around kind of loose because we're anticipating that the stem is gonna to continue to grow and expand and we don't wanna cut that off. And eventually, this will turn into squash like that and we'll be able to harvest seed from it.